Technical trading is static, but properly used RSI signals are magic. In this episode, you will see it in action and how it makes master magician David Blaine himself come across as a simpleton. Fasten your seatbelts and be prepared to be amazed. Enjoy the magic show. Technical analysis is said to be one part science, maths and statistics and another part art. Sway too far into one of the two camps and results will invariably suffer. One thing I love about technical analysis is that no matter how much time you spend watching a chart, you will always find new things. This can be compared to art itself, at which someone knowledgeable within the field will always find more meaning, symbols and context in a painting than those without. To anyone who follows this channel, you know that an important part of my all-in Bitcoin strategy is the Marathon Patent Group ingredient, at which I scale in during Bitcoin spot price dips and corrections, and scale out this exponential runner throughout its northbound impulses. This brings us to some valuable findings I've recently come across and that I'll now share with you. For as discussed in this 2021 Bitcoin series, the more knowledge you have, the more potent you'll be at extracting full value. But first, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And as usual, if you appreciate this episode, then please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It's a silent applause that lets me know what content you appreciate and what content you don't, so that I can better tailor this channel to fit your preferences, dear viewers. Let's now move on to the main event. Here are some observations that will come in massively handy throughout this year's markup. You could almost call it magic. Normally, I stay away from the one hour chart as best as I can, but in this case, it makes perfect sense to observe it as a default. The reason is how fast this marathon runner really moves. As thoroughly discussed in the RSI trilogy, a big market cycle is in turn made up by several smaller market cycles, which in turn are made up from mini cycles themselves. For that reason, since each relevant mini cycle lasts no more than 2 to 4 weeks, that's what we have to adapt to. And by this measure, there is no better frame than the 1 hour 1 to time late accumulation entries. By the same token, if we look at the daily RSI, each price retracement basically just pulls the RSI back into its strong bullish red territory. This RSI trending right here indicates a strong healthy trend and further upwards movements. For this trend here is far from done yet. With that said, the lower bullish red RSI line did generate perfect buying signals too throughout its bigger market cycle late accumulations. The first signal was given in November 2017 for a 670% return in just 19 days. The second signal was in May last year at 43 cents and at the very, very end of the accumulation for a 7,700% return to date. And to those of you who don't know what I'm talking about here, I strongly recommend you to watch the RSI trilogy in full. It will change the way you look at trading. Now, since late October last year, less than two months before Bitcoin took out its previous all-time high and initiated another long sought after confirmed markup, Marathon Patent Group has trended with uncanny predictability. But just look at this. Up to this point, you could almost have set your watch based on this trending alone. But as we all know who are involved on the markets, we cannot expect previous price patterns to repeat. For the clearer a picture that emerges is, the more people are likely to spot it. And the more people who spot it, the more likely it is to turn on us. This is the reason why lopsided and ugly looking formations tend to vastly outperform two obvious ones, such as near perfect head and shoulders. This is one of the reasons why the RSI signals work so incredibly well, because very few traders know of them. I know nothing! Very few traders spot them, and very few traders use them. Now, my point is, before I sidetrack myself, that we cannot expect Marathon to trend by 200% and correct by either the early 30s or 40s forever. 
that would be way too obvious. And despite we don't primarily base our marathon entries on technicals, but rather on those of Bitcoin, we of course still want to exploit whatever timing tools we can get our hands on. That's where the hourly RSI comes in. For look here, out of his 8 mini market cycles since April last year, each of which has pushed the next plateau by 83% on average, as in each little cycle basically doubling in value, 5 of them have provided us with timing perfect buy signals. And taking into account that this cup that stretches from February until July last year was its primary accumulation phase, of which the hourly has no business whatsoever of providing us with signals, if we hence only count the actual markup phase, we have been given proper, proper RSI by signals on 5 out of the last 6 mini market cycles. Look here, let's do them one by one, and as a friendly warning, prepare to be fucking blown away. First signal. From the June peak at 140, Marathon corrected by 40% at most. It then took it a full month until it was ready for its next impulse up. And where were we given that signal? It was given at the very, very last moment before shooting up by 500%. For never forget this thing, risk to reward is not only about your profits in relation to risk, it is just as much about not wasting time. For if you make 30% in profits but it takes you 3 years, it's pretty lousy. Here you instead got 500% and with not a single candle of waiting. Well, everyone gets lucky every now and then, right? No, luck is for amateurs. Let's move on to the second signal. After having corrected by no less than 72%, we were again given a bottom before the markup signal which generated 66% at most in just 2 weeks. Third signal. I'm gonna be perfectly straight, this one is borderline as it's slightly outside of the accepted margins. But this down move of 34%, which is in the expected markdown range in combination with a long accumulation phase with a double bottom, is enough to bend the rules for it to fit. For timing wise, it's a perfect match based on these mini market cycle time lapses. Fourth signal. Again we had a 34% correction and again we were given a perfect waste no time signal upon which the price again and immediately took off by 230% in just 11 days. Let me stop right here. Do you understand how, pardon my language, but here it is justified. Fucking remarkable this is. Do you see how this is not a one-off lockbox thing but something reliable and continuous? And this RSI phenomena is not just in this isolated stock but in general assets and equities. So do yourself a favor, watch the trilogy. For one day, when one too many people use it, I might just take it down. Fifth signal. This is getting tiresome. Again, a no time wasting perfect signal after which the price took off by 175% in just a week. That's nearly tripling your money in a week. This here would have been the 6th confirmed signal out of 6 if it hadn't failed to deliver. In fact, we did get a signal here which was then stopped out by this 38 range RSI for a 5.5% loss. 5.5% as in nothing. And again, this could for the daring trader have been ignored as all of the other behavioral metrics were all aligned. We had a 45% markdown, a sideways range which timing wise perfectly aligned with an accumulation and then another lower bullish red signal that was just slightly too far off the mark but at which discretionary overruling could have been justified and applied. And here we are at the 7th cycle in the making, we've already seen a 47% markdown but the accumulation phase still hasn't fully matured. Having said that, as these episodes take a long time to produce, by the time you watch this it'll probably be well on its way. Now, I'm not saying we should rely solely on these signals, for sometimes they will not appear. 
Based on my strategy, I have already scaled into Marathon during this Bitcoin spot price correction and at the expense of Bitcoin and Ethereum. I now hold 13% of my portfolio in Marathon and my recent purchase was at 31 bucks. However, if we were to be given another accumulation of lower bullish red RSI signal, I'll double down on that. Risky? No, it's not. What I'm saying is that once they do occur, it's a fantastic opportunity to scale in heavily as the risk to reward is nothing short of unparalleled and ridiculous. But in a remarkable and fantastic way, or whatever superlative you prefer. We're not talking 2 to 1. We're not talking 3 to 1. Not 10 to 1. We're talking 50 to 1 or even 100 to 1 as any RSI closing below the lower bullish red with normal margins of course will trigger a sale whereas any profitable signal runs into the hundreds of percent. Again, any closing below the lower bullish red on the hourly will trigger a sell signal at least for the excessive double down position. The funny thing is how the upper bearish blue gives no signals whatsoever, at least not on the hourly. This in fact has a simple reason to it and that is because strongly trending assets, equities and so on typically only give signals in the prevailing direction. And as Marathon in itself has peaked at some 13,000% since April last year, it is obvious that bearish signals are absent. We see exactly the same behavior in long-term strong performance stocks such as Amazon and Apple too. And the mere absence of bearish signals is the chart's own way of telling us to not go against a strong trend. What it does is rather to overcompensate with heaps of bullish RSI signals. Having said that, during Marathon's massive downtrend, it did indeed provide plenty of upper bearish blue sell signals on the hourly. But that's for another episode. And for now, I hope you've enjoyed this magic show. That was all for now. Thank you and goodbye.